Hello, I'm Richard with EV4U Custom Conversions. Well, in previous videos, we've talked about uh, removing the shift rod from the vehicle. We talked about uh, needing to replace the shift rod bushing. The original nylon bushing had long since worn out. It was gone when we purchased the car, and we just... Uh, not really a fun job to do, so we had put it off. Well, uh, the need to replace the transaxle uh, gave us the opportunity to then take care of this at the same time. So, in this video, we're going to discuss uh, replacement of that bushing, but more importantly, I'm going to share with you a, a, a different bushing. This is a replacement for the stock nylon bushing but this one is uh, is different it's uh, guaranteed for as long as you own your car it uh, it's not going to wear out you're only going to make this job you know one more time you're going to replace um, the stock bushing with this replacement lifetime bushing and that's it uh, and I you know um, like I said don't look forward to doing uh, that type of job but if I've got to do it uh, I'd like to replace it once and never do it again and so what we're going to share with you today is exactly that it's a, it's a bushing that uh, replaces the stock one and you're only going to do this once and that's it so anyway we'll get on with that and I can get out of this cold shop well if you remember from an earlier video where we discussed removal of the shift rod talk about how the books uh, tell you to use long nose pliers well, these scrape marks, these marks, and they're all up and down this thing and on both sides, that is from using long nose pliers. And so we want to remove that. We're going to take some uh, fine sandpaper and we're going to remove all the gouge marks on this shift rod so that it will slide through our new bushing nice and smooth. Here's a shot of the new bushing. Now the stock bushing is this nylon piece and we're replacing it with this piece right here. Now, the big difference is that this will last as long as you own your car. This probably won't. <laughs> now, there's a big cost difference in that this is about $1.95 for the nylon, and this is $29.95 for this one. The big difference is in the labor you will never ever replace this one again. You'll go through that hassle one time. Another difference between the two is that this bushing doesn't require a bunch of grease and everything. It's basically installed dry. And it has uh, oil impregnated in it and it's basically self-lubricating. It's held in place with a clip. So it's a two-piece ordeal, just like the original one. Original one has the nylon bushing and this little ring around it. Well, this is put into our hanger and then a clip holds it in place. And I'll show you 
uh, the bushing with the shift rod installed and our gear shift lever installed here. And I just wanted to show you the, the bushing by itself. Now, this bushing also comes with a um, installation tool that allows you to install this uh, real quick and easy. It's probably no more difficult to install than uh, the stock one was. Like I said, big difference is this will wear out. This one will last you for as long as you have your car. So if I'm going to do the labor, I'd rather do it one time, get that hassle over and done with, and never worry about it again. And this is how you can achieve that. Okay, here's our mock-up of the gear shift lever our hanger and this is our shift rod in place. So you can see with our new bushing in place it goes between third and fourth very smoothly or first and second and third and fourth. And then also first and second third and fourth. Now well, falling off my little hanger over here. But anyway moves very smooth full range of motion okay it does everything that you want it to do and it will do it for basically I, I won't say forever but the company does say for as long as you own the vehicle so that could be a long time if you're like me. I've owned quite a few cars over 20 years. And I just have it supported on the back side here and I keep coming off my support. But you get the idea. That's how it works. Okay, here's a shot with the stock nylon bushing in place. Now it's a much tighter fit and it was a lot harder to get this thing to slide on. Uh, we had to lubricate the uh, the shift rod and I've got it lubricated now just so that it will move. It, um, you know, it's nice and quiet. It's a real tight fit and I hold this and stay out of the way of the camera. You know, it will have full motion, just as it should, just as our other one did. But we're going to zoom in closer. One of the typical places these break, and you can see from the one that we removed from the vehicle, this is where it goes most of the time. This is right here where it goes through the hanger. And this shoulder right here, that's where the little ring rides. So it's, it's you know, it's a nice tight fit and all of that. It'll give you a nice clean tight shifting so will the uh, the other bushing I just showed you but this one is a built-in time bomb let's see if we can zoom in a little better and kind of give you a shot at what I'm talking about and see if I can do this and not block the camera so you can see when this moves and when we go like this the thing actually wants to move. If it weren't for the, the uh, lubrication, it would, you know, be all over the place. So you use a multi-purpose grease on these, and that's to, you know, make it move easily and to buy you some time. 
But what that grease does is these actually get soft over time and it will just wear. And that's even more true if you have a hanger that uh, is old and this uh, nylon bushing or insert has worn through and it was metal to metal, it'll, you know, kind of cause it to have a little edge on that hanger and that hanger becomes like a little knife and it helps cut this faster. That's why I prefer the little bushing. And here it is loose. There's a little ridge right here where the keeper, a little clip goes to hold it in place. And it, uh, it can be lubricated also. You can grease this up. Uh, like I said, it's not necessary, but I typically throw some grease on them. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, but the nice thing is you can install this bushing onto the rod or the rod into the bushing is actually how it's done, without greasing this thing all up to, to allow it to pass through, which is just a mess. I mean, it's, it's kind of a messy job uh, replacing this bushing. And so, you, in a previous video, we showed you how to remove the rod. We now have shown you uh, the bushing installed. This is the way it goes. That's the rear of the car, that's the front of the car. So this hanger is behind, this is the hole that goes through into the tunnel. This is the stick shift sitting on top there. And so the front of the car is that direction. The shaft goes to the rear. And so uh, this is installed first, and then you've got to work this rod through this bushing. Uh, the way that we do it will make it easier for you. I'm going to show you a trick to doing that. But either way, these aren't the easiest thing to do. And that's why I like replacing it with this basically lifetime bushing, because then I never have to do that job again. So. We'll go ahead and install the bushing in the vehicle and install the shift rod back in the vehicle. And we're going to use the same uh, uh, piece of PVC, our little uh, removal and installation aid. And we'll show you how much easier that makes installing it back into the car.